<clears throat> Hi everybody, Power Rangers Red here, doing a review of Power Rangers Super Legends, the video game that was released on the Sony PlayStation 2 and Nintendo DS. A uh, note: This game was made during the uh, during Power Rangers ownership of the Walt during the Power Rangers underneath the ownership of the Walt Disney Company, 2002 80 till 2010 80 though. And during the 15th anniversary of the Power Rangers, the Power Rangers had been around for 15 years at that time, and the Walt Disney Company decided to celebrate the 15th anniversary by also releasing releasing a new Power Rangers game, Power Rangers Super Legends. Now note, there have been multiple Power Ranger games on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System and the Sega Genesis over the years, and also on the Sony PlayStation and Microsoft Xbox and the Nintendo Wii. During this time, this is the only Power Rangers game that was only released on the Sony PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo DS. Now, many people have many gripes about the game. I will just tell you my take on it. Some people say that certain seasons were not represented. You have Mighty Morphin, but Zeo and Turbo and In Space are not represented. Lost Galaxies represented, but not not light, but not Lightspeed Rescue or Time Force or Wild Force, even though Ninja Storm is represented, but Dino Thunder is not, Space Patrol Delta is, but not Mystic Force, and only Operation Overdrive. Now, regardless of all the certain seasons not being represented here, um, a lot of uh, there are some issues. One, the Zord battles are very hard. You can get your butt kicked any Zord battle. Don't care if you're fighting Moltor from Operation Overdrive, Chubo from Ninja Storm, Goldar from Mighty Morphin, or uh, Turkina from Lost Galaxy, or whatever his name was from Lights from Time from Space Patrol Delta, or Lord Zed from Mighty Morphin. Now, this game has a problem with dragging the two player along. For example, if the one player can jump over something and the two player can't, the game drags the two player along. Now, this is okay, but I would like to be able to jump. Sometimes, I kid you not, I can't jump, and there are times I can make it, and there are times I can't jump. Sometimes this game, um, the levels can be very hard. I kid you not, when I first played this game, I actually had to go on the Walt Disney Company's website on the game and look up information about how to get through certain levels because there are certain levels in this game Muddy Morphin or Lost Galaxy or Ninja Storm or Space Patrol Delta where you don't know where the hell to go um it always seems to be that when you're fighting a Megazord it's button mashing and for some reason you only seem to uh, get your butt kicked for some reason there's no there is certainly no um, there's no easy, there's no difficult mode. You just pop the game in and it's either already automatically the way it is. Now I know this game has been reviewed by multiple people on YouTube and some people actually did so footage from it, but I do not have that capability to film footage. And even if I did have the capability, that uh, wouldn't come out right, especially with this webcam recorder. And that would infringe upon copyright, and I don't want to do that. So I'll just show you. Now, the main idea of the storyline goes that Lord Zed, this takes place sometime after in space, that his evil self from another parallel universe corrupts him, turns him back to his old self. He goes through time trying to eliminate all the Power Ranger teams, the independents as well as the ones that Power Rangers Command controls. And... Sam, the Omega Space Patrol Delta Ranger, his older self, apparently becomes the commander of Power Rangers, and apparently the board of the Power Board Directors had him oversee the selecting of these Power Ranger teams. And the one thing about this game is if you collect the word Ranger, then you can unlock certain characters from Mighty Morphin or Lost Galaxy or Ninja Storm or I don't know, Space Patrol Delta or Operation Overdrive. Um, 
but pretty much the game is really good. It's not made by Bandai, even though some people may think it was. It was actually made by, I guess, it Invasion Studios had made uh, this game. It was not Bandai, even though Bandai had made all the Power Ranger games that either were on Nintendo, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or the Sega Genesis, or the ones that eventually showed up on the Sony PlayStation or Microsoft Xbox. Um, Sadly, there is sadly this game was made by them and not Bandai. Also, this game has an alternate version of it. Apparently, I'll show you the back. There's one on the Nintendo DS, but instead of fighting Lord Zed, you're fighting Emperor Grum. And funny enough, he's not even involved in this series. I mean, there's Moltar, or one of the villains from Operation Overdrive. Um, there's Trakina from Lost Galaxy, Chubo from Ninja Storm. I mean, I don't know why Lothor wasn't the one you were fighting. Um, and apparently, Cassius, what, I don't, some character from Space Patrol Delta, I don't remember his name, but it should have been Emperor Grum. Um, but pretty much, this game is not really that bad, regardless that this game pretty much doesn't, this pretty much, it's not, it's graphics are a little different, and the controls are different from the normal Power Ranger games, but, if I, if you come around this game and you have a Sony PlayStation 2 or a Sony PlayStation Bulk or that can actually play this game, I would suggest um, looking it up. But if you have a Flim, forget it. Flims don't do twos, and this game was only available on the Sony PlayStation 2 one, but not on the free. I mean, no, it works on the free, but um, um. So if you have one, so if you have that backwards capability, it probably won't work. So, but if you do have a Sony PlayStation 2 or one that has the capability of playing all three, but in some cases, um, pick this game up. Now, the, this is what it looks like, and it's cartridge. You know, self-explanatory. There's the instructional manual. Manual. So that's it. Power Rangers Super Legends review. Uh, this is Power Rangers Red. I will see you later.